Yeah, according to me, uh, Indian women face a uh, lot of discrimination. Uh, like, uh, and also, uh, they have, I mean, in women, generally, they have less strength, I feel. So maybe it's because of genetics or gender, so whatever it may be. So I think it's uh, discrimination and uh, strength. That's it. Uh, hi, today we have Kathy to actually talk about the challenges faced by women. So the most uh, apprehensive like challenge which I have faced so far is about the freedom to dress however I want. So in the society, even if it is we are living in the 21st century, we still feel that male gaze towards us. Whatever we are, you know, wearing, we are judged based upon that. If we are wearing some kind of Western clothes, that means I, it feels much more provocative. But if I dress decently, that means I am less approachable. So we are judged based upon the clothes which we wear. And so that is the most present challenge we are facing in our society right now. So in my view, I think uh, in the workplace, women uh, face like a couple of issues. One, I think, I mean, what I have observed is like some women uh, find it difficult to speak up. I mean, especially in meetings and all because men kind of dominate the conversation. So I think uh, unless you specifically ask them to give their opinion, they are like less inclined to put put for their views which might be more valuable than the views of men. So that is one thing. And the other thing is like when uh, uh, women uh, have baby and also there might be a leave of absence. So getting back from the leave of absence is also one more challenge uh, which is like uh, uh, which is a, a challenge which women uh, regularly face in the workplace because after such a leave of absence how are they integrated back into the workspace is one area to so one of the challenges that um, women often face in the workforce currently is after uh, embracing motherhood. Uh, many companies do not give them um, a work-life balance or do not give them flexible work options like working from home for a couple of months. This I think becomes a big challenge which results in a dropout of many of the women uh, from the workforce, which I think we can be more inclusive and be more compassionate. In a male-dominated society, women facing so many problems in that uh, one is, uh, woman is getting abused by the society and women are uh, harassing by society and uh, they are uh, getting molested publicly. Hi, nowadays we women are facing issues, uh, mostly the safety problem uh, in public transports and also we are facing uh, problems in social media like morphing images and also unknown messages. I think it is the major problem here. I think uh, some of the challenges faced by women these days uh, include inequality of pay scale and uh, the equal opportunities uh, like uh, their male employees get and also I feel Women are judged too much on the basis of their conduct and behavior. Like there are certain set of rules, uh, I don't know, by the society uh, that uh, women should follow this and that. So I feel these should not be true because everyone should be, they should be given equal opportunities. Uh, there are many challenges which the women face in the regular life. Uh, uh, it doesn't start anywhere else but your own home. Uh, Many, many of the girls child even feel, even now they feel gender discrimination in the house. When there is a, uh, when there are two siblings, one is a boy child and another one is a girl child. They still, they still feel that there is a lot more freedom given to the guy uh, in the house than the uh, female child in the house. Uh, the, there are many, many, many girls in the country even now. They think a lot, lot of times before stepping out of their house uh, in the late hours. And apart from apart from this, even if the women, uh, even the women, if the even if she is the bread earner uh, or she is earning, the household work is not divided between the men and women in the house. So these are few of the challenges. Even now, I feel women are facing in our society. Hi, according to me, women faces lots of problems in their day-to-day -day life. First one is body shaming, whether whether she is tall, short, small dark or anything people are body sh body shaming them second one is gender discrimination today also women are facing lots of discrimination just because of their gender and the third one is the stereotypic societal norm which says that women have to follow this but they have to want to follow this i think these are the major problems which women are facing now
So I think one of the biggest challenges any woman faces is self-judgment, where they're constantly judging themselves, they're constantly trying to seek for permissions or validations from people just to understand whatever's happening in their life. So I think that obviously puts them down quite a lot. Another thing which I believe is misogyny and casual sexism, which exists and which is a quality so deep rooted within ourselves. Whereas like very simple statement about like, you know, why would we behave certain way or something, although it is you know, you don't even would think a second about like, you know, just saying that, you know, you are a woman, be be like you know, be a certain way or something. I think it probably is just your view of like putting them down or probably just categorizing and just stereotyping the whole situation, saying that being a woman you're supposed to be this way. Although it might not sound so important, but then casual sexism and misogyny, I think uh, identify such situations will prob- obviously help them a greater deal. Hello and a happy Women's Day to all of you. This year's theme is uh, Embrace Equity. And equity means equity in every sphere of life, whether it is about getting the right kind of opportunities, whether it is about getting the right kind of compensation, whether it is the right kind of being able to have your, your voice heard and so on. Idea is to make sure that we can all embrace equity. And we are able to do that by understanding what each person's uh, challenge is. So as a result, I think today we we did an experiment where we asked both men and women about the challenges that women face and we have been able to compile that for you. Thank you.